Hi, I'm Bob Boucher and this is Larry Dulac. We're both from Dulac Plumbing Innovations. Larry is the president and inventor of two very important devices which go on water heaters. Uh, today we're going to be talking about water heaters both direct and indirect. The two devices we're going to be talking about, the first is the safe plug relief which is a device that goes on T and P valves to prevent people from intentionally or unintentionally plugging and rendering the T and P useless. The second device that we're going to be talking about is a device called the water heater isolation device, otherwise known as the WID. The WID is a water heater leak device specifically designed to prevent catastrophic water leak incidences in homes and businesses. Hi, this is the safe plug relief that we will be installing on this TMP. The purpose of installing the, T, the SPR on a TMP is to provide an additional safety measure against tampering. The reason we're going to be replacing the TMP is because prior to doing any work on any water heater, we need to check the date code on the device to make sure, one, that it has been tested at least once a year and most importantly that every three years the manufacturer requires that we actually remove and inspect the TMP. We happen to know based on the date code on this particular TMP that the date is over seven years old so we already know we're going to replace the valve. It's really important to understand there is no education out there for the homeowner today relative to TMP safety. You as a homeowner need to understand that you probably have not had a professional come to your home, test or inspect your TMP. Please, as a safety measure, always check your TMP. Right now we're about to replace the TMP valve. Okay, I am now shutting the cold water supply off. This, one, this water heater is supplied with two, one on the hot and one on the cold. I've just isolated the water heater. We're going to drain the pressure off the tank prior to pulling the relief valve off. Okay, I have drained the pressure off the TMP valve by lifting the lever. It is drained down through the, uh, this, into this drain pan that I've got. I'm going to remove the drain line from the TMP. I am removing the TMP. I've pre-installed uh, some pipe dope on the male threads. I am installing the SPR to the outlet opening of the discharge of the TMP. I am now going to remove the TMP. Be careful that the water in here is hot. Just about completely installed. Going to Place the drain line. As you can see, the removed TMP temperature and pressure valve has rust and corrosion around where the uh, thermal bulb is installed. Uh, the thermal bulb is moving. Uh, there is some corrosion and some eroding of the coating on the bulb. Uh, these would be indications that a replacement is necessary. Uh, it would indicate that this this particular valve. Uh, should in fact be replaced if you were doing this as an inspection. Now as you can see this is our temperature and pressure valve, our new temperature and pressure valve and this is now the SPR attached to the pressure valve. Both are installed onto the tank and our drain line is installed to the SPR. The way this device works is simple. In the event that you should get any back pressure as a result of pinching off this line putting a, uh, something on the idea of a shock bite or a plug at the end. If you were to plug uh, any part of this at this point, uh, this device will self-sacrifice so that the pressure that builds up as a result of temperature and the pressure that could build up in this tank will now be able to sacrifice and drain out of the drain line. How many pounds pressure is that going to do, react to? It'll react to 10 pounds of back pressure. Thank you. 